What's going on, guys? Welcome back to uh, Felsbrunn. We're up at the Guest Ranch. Thanks for checking out the channel once again, guys. Uh, what do we got going on today? Well, I'm out here just going for a cruise with Nitro right now. We're out warming up. Just checking out, seeing what's going on. Go for a little trail ride. Have a little bit of fun. <laughs> Get a little speed here. Let's see them go. I love how they go through the fields, too. Just kind of cruise right on through, no problems. <laughs> All right, we're going to put Nitro back. Uh, we've got something I want to take care of here. And uh, it should be good. Let's see. Let's park this over here. Park. <laughs> we're going to park the horse. All right. Thanks, Nitro. We're out of here. In our previous episode, we were working on... Uh, getting oat and a way of getting that up here. It's a little bit easier than oh, can't see anything uh, What we were doing before driving the truck all the way up and You know what I owe uh, I was a bit of a shout out there Cecil the farmer is the one who gave me that idea And so I thought I might kind of expand on another couple comments as well about uh, making like a transfer station And I think that is the way I've been planning on going. I'll just pull up there. We'll go take a quick look. No, oh, jeez. Let's drive and clutch right into the old uh, downspout there. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to climb back up on top here and take a look at what we currently have. Now, I think what we've got up there is enough space for everything. Uh, you can see it right there. We just need to expand. And into the weeds. There we go. Now, really, a transfer station should be feasible. I don't think think it's going to be any kind of an issue to be honest with you we'll just have to decide how it's going to look so right now we have a spot where our train can pull in um yeah our train can pull in it can dump whatever it wants right here and then we can load right on this side now we need to be able to make this so it's in reverse as well and they are connected that is all we need to do um yeah it's a great little system i don't see why it won't work so anyways let's get to work i guess uh i've got a little bit to do here Bitter powder, guys. Clutch simulations. All right, guys, let's do this. So, uh, this transfer station I want to build, we're going to have to, we could probably just add another one of these. That'd be an easy way of doing it, but I'm never about easy, so let's uh, do something different. We'll see what we can come up with here. I've already taken out a bunch of the fences I kind of had sitting here. We'll have to do some work on this little facade here, I guess. This, not facade, but this cliff, hillside, I don't know what you want to call it, retaining wall. We're going to take care of that. We're going to move this silo. So first things first, let's, uh, oh, where did I put the silo? <laughs> Great. I've got so much stuff on this map now. Uh, that seed, the silo, 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 silos are whereabouts there. Okay. Get rid of that one. Come on, sell. Sell, thank you. Uh, and now we are going to buy that silo. Now the thing is with this one here, I want it to be the opposite. I want it to face that way. So I want this to be the dropping off point for the trains, but uh, I don't want it to, yeah, I want, I want to drive over it with the trucks basically. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Train, it's going to go to the trains and not the vehicles so i think that's it but let's get as close as i can i want to get right up on top of this thing almost something like that okay boom that works now obviously we need some more space there we'll deal with that later but uh we've got that in place now i could put another one like i said another one of those small silos and just flip it around 180 but i want something different and i'm thinking i want to go big <laughs> because you know i got i got the space why not Never mind. <laughs> I don't have the space at all. Uh, this is the one I'm thinking of. All right. So this one here has got that. Perfect. Now we just need to make sure we leave, leave enough space that uh, we can get out. So I might go closer to the end like this. Now as long as our... Oh, I'm going to have to deal with that tree, I think. That is frustrating. Hmm. Um, these should connect still. They're close enough, I believe. That it's not going to cause any issues should be close enough and the pipe on this one's in a bit of an interesting spot but we'll look at that once it's built so i'm going to build this right over here i think i got enough space to get around it still i might have to come down and take some trees out though there we go oh that was close how's that look all right so we've got our dumping spot platform for the train right here now now this is going to be the uh, pipe out for the silos 
and you control it with this here. And now it moves over. And this here is where we're going to be filling up our uh, tippers. I need to make a road, obviously, into that. Oh, don't touch the fence. Don't touch the fence. The fence makes you lag. So let's uh, go into work and see what we can do in here. Paint this up. Uh, you know what? Let's flatten this all out so it's a little bit nicer first. Sculpting and flatten. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, I need a raise, actually. Nope, that's not raise. That's the opposite of raising. That would be lowering, in case you were wondering. There we go. Let's go with that. Perfect. Kind of a nice little plateau there again. And now from here, we can start to drop it down. It's going to be an interesting little spot. I'm going to have to get rid of that fence, I think, just to give myself a little bit more space. Awesome. All right. And on to painting. Uh, is this what I'm thinking of? Nope, that's not what I'm thinking of. That's not what I'm thinking of. Uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking of. Looks kind of interesting. Oh, there's another one I like better, though. Is it this it? Just a simple concrete. I think that's it. That looks more kind of realistic. Awesome. All right. And we'll get this all painted up in here, too, so it doesn't look like it's just kind of stuck in there. Get rid of some grass. Uh, get rid of this. And you know what? We're going to go in all along the side here, so it looks like there's actually a bit of a um, foundation. This thing is a pretty massive building. You would think it would have something other than just dirt underneath of it. But who am I to say? <laughs> uh, get rid of these. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay. So I think that there is close enough. I still, yeah, this, this whole area has got to, have to be revamped and I need to get rid of this tree. Unfortunately, didn't think of that through, but there's no way to delete trees without going with a chainsaw. So that's not going to happen right now. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, let's, uh, and we need to extend this out. So let's do that. Uh, sculpting's on, raise this up. Now, we'll simply raise this to this port and we just go with the simple level tool. Be very gentle so you don't overextend it. The closer we get in here, pretty close. And I find you have to be just ginger with this just to make sure you don't kind of go too crazy. Otherwise, you're going to cause more issues than it's worth. All right. Okay. Now that should at least get us into the ballpark here. Perfect, that looks all right. And then lastly, I need to uh, s just smooth these corners out so they don't look so kind of jagged and awkward. Now, I'm not going to go too crazy on these because we're going to paint those and they're not gonna, you're not going to really notice them anyways. I want it to be more of a cliff. Uh, and then, before we go too crazy with that though, let's actually build our... Uh, I wanted a shed up there, that's right. Now, where's the shed that I was thinking of? I need a shed. That'll do. Just something. You know what? We can park some vehicles up here if we need to. Um, they get off the train. Just kind of a little lean-to shed. That's all I'm looking for here. Uh, that looks pretty close. A little straight. Excellent. Okay. And then back to painting. Oops. Painting. And where is it? That's the dark one I'm looking for right there. And this can all just be cliffside. Excellent. And same with over here. Awesome. All right. Uh, you know what? I might as well get up here as well. That's fine. And last of all, we just need to put some grass back up on top. Wrong grass. What about that one? Wrong grass. That one? Yay, that's the right one. <laughs> we might put something here at some point, but I'm just happy to have kind of a shop area right here. Uh, looks like it's fairly level, but just to make sure, yeah, it's level. Okay. Uh, can we put 
a dirt in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I have to think about that. Now, the last thing I want to do up here is I want to make this road kind of come out this side. I want to be able to back into here, fill up, and I want to be able to come back through here. But I want to put some kind of a, almost like a village, if you will. Um, so we need to put some buildings in first. And where are they? They're not decorations. I think they're sheds. That's what they're all under here. That's what I'm thinking of. Let's go see if I can find these ones. So we have a couple different options. Uh, these are all mods, of course, but uh, there we go. That's the first one I was thinking of right there. Now this one here has got entrances all across the back. And so it's going to go right in here. I'm going to ask the back, across the front, as I should say. Now this is actually a really cool building. It's a two-story as well. It's kind of like a hayloft, actually, but uh, this will be... I don't know what this building is going to be yet. It's got a bunch of garages in it. It's kind of cool. Um, I can go right about there. Tunk, tunk, tunk. Uh, next up, we need to have this one here I was thinking of, I think. Yeah, that one there. And it's going to spin around this way. And it's going to go like something like this. Should still have the room to get around the back of that. Make sure it's lined up with the road so it looks normal. Okay, and then last of all, there was one other one. Oh yeah, this little shop down here. Like a little shop that's kind of a down at the end. I'm going to need to do some terraforming once these are in place, unfortunately. Just because. Alright, boom. I just can tell. There we go. Uh, and so, what do we want to lower? Uh, do, do, do. Let's see if I can smooth this out. Get rid of all the grass that's in here, all the earth that's kind of poking through the building. All right, that looks okay on that side. How's this side look? So we've got a space. Perfect, all right. So that has been kind of leveled. So we have access to the whole building at least now. What about over here? Has this one got anything going on inside of it? Yes, it does. Uh, we can lower this again. Just kind of, all I do is lower it and then level ground. That's all I'm doing. That usually takes care of most of the problems you're going to run into. There we go. And you can see up at the front here, it's a little bit lower. So we're just actually raising the ground. It goes around the sides here. That works. And then last of all, we got this one here. This one looks like it's going to be okay. It's kind of inset into this hillside. That is totally fine by me. But we'll do some quick adjustments. I'll just look inside here. Uh, yeah, we could probably afford to lower that just a touch. And then... Oh, it didn't really work out the way I was hoping it would. That one there did not work out. Can't see. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, let's increase our size then. There we go. So if I can just cut in without wrecking anything too badly, like this is going to be pretty tough to, to do anything. I don't need to have access back there, so I'm not going to go too crazy here. I just want to be able to make sure that the building is kind of level. There we go. I think that's right. Let's take a quick look here. There we go. Okay. Yep, the building's level now. Uh, next, we got to just paint. So I'm going to start with the hillside and bring that down. Uh, that's the wrong one. That looks like it. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So like I said, I need to get rid of this whole fence line here. I'll probably extend this, this out a touch more, but uh, that's for another time. I just wanted to get painting on this. So I have an idea. Oh, I got to fix that divot. Wow. Okay, so this is going to come down and then circle in this way. We've got some work to do on our road down here, but that's okay. Not a big deal. And then this one here is just going to branch off and connect back onto the main drag. Boom. And this one here is going to go like this and around. This one connects into this. And then this is going to be right on out. 
And right this way as well. Gotta get this bench all in here, right? Perfect. Okay, so we'll do this building first, since we're right here. Straight on out. I'm gonna leave a little bit of grass. Not much, but just leave a couple patches out in front here. Don't forget the doorways. Uh, this one here. Perfect. And then this one here is going to have a double. This one's a double-double. So we'll need to do a little bit of terraforming here. It looks like it's a little bit rough for my liking, but it's not bad. Um, there we go. Awesome. Okay. So that's done. This one here is done enough for me. Uh, let's go around the back. This back side here looks like it could use a touch more work. Not bad. All right, and then this, we'll just scooch around. All right, so this one here, I want to have connect back to the road as well. Kind of like the other one. And it connects in this way as well. Perfect. Uh, what do we got here? This one here is just going to go this way and down here. Looks all right. And then we've got the shop here as well. And doing the exact same thing. Boom. Might as well get rid of that. It looks kind of silly just to have like three puffs of grass there. Uh, and then we still have this front piece too. Wow. <laughs> We've got a lot of buildings up here. Uh, yeah, it looks good. looks good. Just need to add some more uh, some more placeable stuff in here. I think that's all it's going to take. And it will be fully fleshed out then. Scooch this up this way. And this can connect over here. And this one connects into here, and that's really going to do it for this quick idea of what I got, what I'm putting up here. Like I said, we got a bunch more stuff I need to put put up here to uh, flesh everything out. Oof, look at this. Smooth this out as much as we can. Um, but this is the idea, at least. So we've got like a little bit of a village up here. People can come off the train. That looks good. People can come off the train there, and there's going to be like a little village down here they can get to, and then go down to our guest ranch. Maybe it'll be a taxi stand. I don't know. Bus, bus, bus stand. Ooh. See, I've got to fix this little bump here. But you get the idea. These buildings all can be... Uh, go into all of them. <laughs> These ones are all modded uh, to enter inside, which is kind of nice. This one here. Yeah, they all go inside. Cool. Anyways, guys, that's it for that. Um, I need to grab the train. I want to get our transfer station make sure it's working the way I thought it would be. So I'm going to go grab our Mahindra and uh, pick up a tipper. Let's go to work. All right, so we've got 120,000 liters of oat that I want to bring up to the guest ranch. <laughs> I got a lot of oat. Uh, oh, don't hit that silly thing. Come on. I'm just going to squeak it around there. Perfect. All right, well, for those of you that wanted to see some truck driving in uh, Farming Simulator 19, here we go. <laughs> We're heading over to the... Uh, the train depot at the bottom here. It's not too far away, but this, I don't, I think I could get to the top with this truck. Oh, it's a, it'd be a fight to, to drag these doubles all the way up. Like, seriously, this would be a huge fight. <laughs> so we will just go and drop them off. Like, I'm only holding, if I can get above 60, I would be impressed. I'm going to catch this car, mind you. Come on, get up that hill. Now, you have seen me drive these before. Uh, we've done a couple of trips with them, but not a lot, because this map really is not designed to have these kind of trailers towed around them. It's not, <laughs> it's not enough room on most of the areas you go to. And in fact, pulling into um, the train depot here, we're going to be going to, let's get by this guy. Mur -mur. Coming by, thank you. The uh, train depot, the train, side, what do you call it, the train... Uh, area here is going to be a bit of a fight I think maybe maybe not uh, I don't think I want to be parked here get going cement truck 
Yeah, perfect. So it's a relatively quick drive, which is what I like about this. I don't need to take my trucks up to the uh, the guest ranch, so I can just kind of drive in here, drop off anything I need, or maybe even pick stuff up. And uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Let's see. Up we go. Up we go. Dump it in. There it goes. So like I said, I got 120 liters here to dump. It's going to take a couple minutes. Uh, we'll get on that, and I will catch up with you guys once we're done that. All right. All right. Well, there goes the guest ranch. Uh, we're just going by it now. <laughs> once again, I do like that. That's so cool. Um, yeah, our new transfer station is just around the bend here. Let's hit the binders. All right. Let's see how good my train skills are. <laughs> Oh, I need to be up front here. That's right. All right. That's okay. We're okay. We're okay. And she wants to dump right about there. I think. Right? I think that's where I want to be. Can I... Oh, that one. That's the one. Dump that all in. There she goes. She's dumping in. Perfect. So we'll empty all this in. <laughs> now, in theory, I should be able to... I just want to test this to make sure it's connected. Uh, I should be able to just pull ahead and I should have the option to fill with 120,000 liters of oat once this is all emptied. Looks good. All right. And four, four, three, two, one. Okay, now, in theory, when I pull forward into here, there should be 120. Oh, there's not. It's too far away. No, it's too far away. It's too far away, guys. I need to push this right in. Well, that's not difficult. I can move this closer, but that is totally unfortunate. I wonder if I put... Um, what if I put the extension silos in here, guys? Will that work? Right now, it's too far away. Not that I'm too concerned about it, but I want to make this a transfer station so I can do both. Yeah, like we could put a silo right in the middle here. The extension silo and then that would maybe combine everything let me know what you think in the comments i'd be curious to read about that um anyways let's uh, do this we've got 120,000 liters of oat here <laughs> so that's not a problem we're not gonna be able to get a third of that to the uh not even a quarter of that to the uh farm right now let's do this and look at what else we'll do let's pull this out of the way i'm gonna fill up the mahindra as well uh we'll just do this hopefully it's not gonna go down the hill on me park it <laughs> and let's go do see if i can do double duty here i'm gonna push this mahindra to the brink <laughs> yes all right so we've got enough oat uh, for a while <laughs> okay let's see how this is gonna control down my little road it's like a roller coaster in here well you know what it actually handles it not too bad for what it is. <laughs> awesome. This is going to do the trick, guys. I am impressed. This thing is awesome. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Anyways, guys, that is going to do it for us today. Uh, man, I've got some more work obviously to do on the transfer station. Let me know, like I said in the comments, if you think that uh, little plan I talked about will work. Or if I just need to move that thing closer. I'd be curious to know what you guys' thoughts are on that. Whoa, I didn't make the corner. Anyways, uh, yeah, fantastic. Uh, today is, what is it, Christmas Eve today? So I hope you guys are all ready for Christmas coming up. Um, if you're watching this afterwards, I hope you had a fantastic holiday. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thanks again for joining me here. Let's just leave this over here for the time being because our horses are just about done. Boom. Cool. Anyways, I uh, hope you have a great day, guys, and I will talk to you guys next time. This is Clutch. Over and out.